poverty. Well, we know that the numbers are such that if you pay attention to federal minimum wage, which is $7.25 an hour, those are poverty wages. That's $15,000 a year. So I also support what we need to do, and I'm an advocate for it. I was actually marching with folks in Vegas a couple of days ago, picketing McDonald's, about what we need to do to lift up the minimum wage to at least $15 an hour, but a livable wage for folks. So there is that piece. There's the rent piece. There's about livable wage. What we also need to do is understand that in America today, almost half of American families cannot afford a $400 unexpected expense. That could be the car breaks down, that could be a health, health bill you didn't see coming. $400 unexpected expense can topple the stability of that family. In America today, in 99% of the counties, minimum wage workers can't afford a one bedroom apartment. In America last year, 12 million people took out a loan of on average $400 from the payday lender at an interest rate often in excess of 300%. These are the realities of America today. And I find it just so, I, I have long words and then I have curse words and I'm not gonna say those because this is a religious gathering kind of. Um, but let me, 